Hello my friends, MATLAB is a software package that makes it easier for you to enter matrices and vectors and manipulate them. In the following lecture we will discuss about how to define vectors and creation of random ones and zeros vectors. A vector is defined by placing a sequence of numbers within a square braces. Note that you must add a space between numbers. For example, write v equals brace 3 1 braces and press enter. Yes, you simply define a vector in MATLAB environment. This creates a row vector which has a label V. The first entry in the vector is 3 and the second entry is 1. Note that MATLAB prints out a copy of the vector after you hit the, hit the enter. If you do not want to print out the result, put a semicolon at the end of the line. If you want to view the vector, just type its variable name. Write V and press enter. You will see the V with its elements 3 and 1. If you want to create a column vector, you need to take the transpose of a row vector. The transpose is defined using an apostrophe as follow. Write this command and press enter. U equals braces 1, 2, 3, 4. An apostrophe. OK. As you see, a column vector created. MATLAB can define a set of numbers with a common increment using columns. For example, to define a vector with a start of 2 and end in 4 with steps of 0 0.25, you enter the following. V equals basis start of 2 columns, the steps, and end. As you see our vector created, you can view individual entries in a vector by entering elements number. For example, to view the first entry, write v parentheses 1 and press enter. This comment prints out first entry in the vector. MATLAB will allow you to look at a specific part of the vector. If you want to only look at the first three entries in a vector, you can use the same notation you use to create a vector. Write this comment in prompt window. V parentheses one columns three and hit enter. As you see, first three elements of V vector printed out. You can easily create vector with zeros and ones elements with zeros and ones comments. These functions have two arguments and if you want to create a vector one of them must be one. See following example for more comprehension. Zeros parenthesis one comma for first argument and second argument and hit enter of zeros.
then type ones five comma one and hit enter as you see two vectors with zeros and ones elements created a vector with random elements creates simply with rand comments like previous functions this function have two argument and one of them must be one for example type rand one comma four and press enter as you see a random vector created okay in this lecture we learn how to define vectors